A 2006 ballot initiative to relocate San Diego's main airport to Miramar failed to get voter approval, and dire predictions that Lindbergh Field would reach capacity in a decade seem to have been greatly exaggerated. In fact, last year, takeoffs and landings reached their lowest level in 25 years. Here to talk more about this seemingly ongoing issue is Voice of San Diego reporter Rob Davis. Rob, thanks for being here. Thanks so much. You did a fact check on the uh, basically the traffic area and what else on the San Diego airport? Right. We wanted to look at projections, predictions, warnings that have been made in the city over the last 10, 15 years, see what's come true and what, what has not. And so the projections about um, demand for Lindbergh Field uh, was a major um, underlier of the discussion in 2006. What were those predictions in a nutshell? The airport authority said that between 2015 and 2022 that Lindbergh Field was going to become congested, have a huge impact on the local economy because flights would be delayed and um, getting in and out of there wouldn't be as easy, routes wouldn't be added because there would be uh, too much traffic there. And what is the case now? Uh, well, as you said, uh, demand is at its lowest level since 1986. In, in, in talking about those predictions, that was something the airport authority actually used to bolster that 2006 uh, initiative to try to move the airport. And it's, I've heard it my whole life. Um, it, tell me about that. Tell me about how that case was developed and, and why people continue to say we need to. Yeah, I mean, in, in, 19, in the 1950s, um, people were saying that Lindbergh Field wouldn't be adequate for the jet age. And so it is a familiar refrain in the city that Lindbergh isn't good enough and it's not going to be good enough. It's proven, at least over the past few decades, that it's um, sufficient for our need today. Um, and so when the airport authority made that big push, obviously they couldn't have expected that the bottom would fall out of the economy a couple of years later. And so that's what's led to the, the drop in, uh, the precipitous drop in decline that's, that's occurred. Do you think that technology, people are able to work from their computers at home, do you think any bit of technology has uh, kind of changed maybe those predictions and made it less congested? Well, I think, I think that the economy is, is number one, um, but there is also you know, room at the airport for um, larger regional jets to replace smaller turboprops on flights to LA and that sort of thing. So, um, you know, even within the airline industry, there's uh, the ability to, to shift as demand increases for some of those routes. You mean shifting, uh, you were saying with the plane shifting smaller planes for bigger planes. Exactly. Because the technology is exactly. better to do that, to do that now. Do you think this issue will, do you think it'll continue to be an issue here on trying to move this airport? Well, I mean, it's, it's sort of one of San Diego's age old debates. And so um, it's, it's always kind of, I mean, it's one base closure away from, or base closure process away from coming back up. Um, and so, yeah, the, the airport authority wisely sort of ducked its head down after um, the defeat in 2006, and they've redoubled their efforts to improve Lindbergh, and they're beginning a planning process to figure out three decades out what they'll do. So that's going forward, but there's always going to be, I think, in the back of people's minds, uh, a question about the airport here. But moving it to Miramar now, the focus on the Pacific Rim from the military, not likely, or is it likely, I should ask you, that they're going to give up that airport anytime soon? I, I don't think that in the way that the airport authority asked for it in 2006, they would ever do so, which was politely saying, hey, can we use your base um, and just plop in an international airport here? I do think there, I mean, there has been in the past um, a look at that through the formal base closure process and um, who's to say whether that comes up again if that um, process begins again. We don't have a lot of time left. My last question to you is safety issues. I didn't see that brought up um, and I don't know if you addressed that in your fact uh, check. Is that anything that the airport authority ever uh, kind of tried to focus on when trying to make a, a case for moving? No, I mean m most prominently in San Diego there was the 1978 um, uh, PSA crash but um, it's safe to land at Lindbergh Field. We do it uh, dozens of times a day. And so um, that was not something that was ever even hinted at as that discussion happened. All right, very good. Rob Davis, Voice of San Diego, thanks so much. Thank you.